There we go. There we go. All right. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. We're back. All right. We're back. We're back. We're back. All right. Here we go. Generation gaming. Yeah. So this is, this is an unstoppable force versus an immovable object here out of woman. All right. So, okay. Uh, Broken Blade really losing the trade. Very hard. This is a really hard matchup for Renekton, by the way, if uh, the Volibear is competent. A lot of people think uh, the matchup is not the case, but yeah. Bjergsen looks very stressed. Yeah, I think so. BDD did a really good job. Oh, oh, we got it. Ooh. Oh, oh, he's going to miss some of these. Oh, yeah, he's going to. Oh, that was really bad. That was that was very well done by BDD. That was very well done by BDD. The amount of um, the the amount of uh minion or HP that was missing from all the minions when he crashed. So uh, speak speak his top here. Speak his top. Rascal's in a little bit of a dangerous spot. Ooh. Oh 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 he missed. Wait wait did Rascal just mess up? No, my timer, my timer's uh, about even. Maybe I'm a half a second slow. But, uh, okay. Uh, Volibear's still very far ahead in the CS department. BDD is doing a very good job at zoning Bjerg. Very, very, very good job at zoning him. Um, that bomb by Bjergsen, I think, is not good. Uh, he doesn't, he, like, the damage doesn't actually matter for set. Um, and Bjergsen's in a very awkward spot. He has Glacial. Yeah, B BDD diff this game is really big. Um, so, I mean, the call start by Ruler is definitely really good. He's getting a lot of value. Holy fucking shit, BDD diff. Oh, the minions. Dude, BDD's doing such a good job. With when he crashes the wave, Bjerg can't get any farm. Oh, Jesus. It's really hard for Bjerg to play. Yeah, but it, it, guys, you can't you can't just say Bjerg CS. Set's the one that has autonomy in this matchup. Set's the one that gets all the say. So it's really on set and how he's going to do things. Zillion doesn't have a say in this matchup. And the other problem is that because it's Nidalee and, Bjerg, uh, and, and Zillion, um, Set gets so much value out of MR items. Um, BDD executing yet another lane kingdom. Yeah, hello, Arnold. <laughs> what do you mean, Twitch ban? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I mean, Genji are just—they're—they're uh, they're, getting—they're getting very far ahead. I think they're just gonna redive. Yeah. Oh, oh no, they're not. They're not. It seems like they're respecting that Speaker could maybe be nearby, or that Broken Blade would uh, eat the whole wave. I'm not totally sure. They go and they place a ward on the red buff. Yeah, the C, <laughs> the COO of Generation Gaming. True. <laughs> All right, so Spika is now behind right now to Lilia. Uh, Clit is is having a pretty good time. Thumbs up and Crab Rave, and now Red Buff's even gonna get stolen away. Spika Spika's getting jungle kingdomed by the way every game here, but I will say that this game is very hard for Spika to play because Renekton Nidalee, contrary to popular belief, is not actually a dominating like one two duo. Um. Renekton doesn't actually win every single lane matchup, and then Nidalee, there's many junglers that can actually match her. So you end up getting stuck with two champions that have a reliance on getting ahead, but they actually are countered. Um, so this is definitely a, a pretty awkward uh, situation. Also, it's very hard for Spika to play the jungle, because Set is just able to lane dominate Zillion, and there's the Merc Treads first on Set. We see this out of, um, out of Korean sets, but we don't see it out of Western sets as much. Um, just rushing the boots over, like, just sitting on tier 1 boots and, like, another item. Um, ooh, 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 I think they have them. They have them. Point blank. Yep. Ruler. Really, really, really greedy. No reason to be playing like that. He had TP, too. No reason to be playing like that. His jungler's on the opposite side of the map. They have all vision in the red side jungle of Spica, and they just invaded it. So you know that Nidalee's down in bottom. You know that he's down in bottom. It makes no sense whatsoever. Uh, Cloud Dragon... Uh, not gonna be taken or something. It's not a high priority Drake. I think if it was another dragon, they would have. Oh, actually, ah, uh, no, it's not a high priority Drake. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I was gonna say like for Zillion, it's kind of cool, but just one isn't enough. Like cloud cloud soul for Zillion's really sick. If you get two or three, that's really gross. 
Um, but yeah. Ooh, Beer didn't even get that CS. He's down 30 right now at eight at nine minutes. Oh, speaker. Oh, speaker. Oh, speaker. Oh. Oh, 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 that would that hurt. That hurt. That was a big fight. That was a very big fight. Uh, Set's prioritized a lot in LCK because they value his utility. Um, so okay, we take a look at the replay here. BDD, he he's waiting. He doesn't just immediately R. He wants to get more value out of the face breaker, um, and he ends up doing it. Bjergsen's completely out of mana. He throws his W, misses it. Broken Blade goes in there, has to use his flash. He's all on cooldown, gets the conqueror, but it doesn't matter because life's there. And meanwhile, down in bottom, you can see Doublelift was consider uh, he was considering rotating, but he didn't end up doing it. Yeah, I saw Senna ulted early and not late, so that was also very good. Uh, but the problem is, is Bjergsen's so stunted because he has no farm. Ah, uh, man. Two plates now for BDD2. I really, really, really hate the Bomby Cinder. I really hate the Bomby Cinder on set. I think that's not, I think that's not good. I think the Vami Cinder is not good. I think just sitting, uh, I think just going Spectre's Cowl, and then, uh, yeah. I, I really don't like it. I really, really, really hate Sunfire on set. It just feels really bad. Sitting on, sitting on Ruby Stack, I think, is a lot better. Don't think Zillion being behind is that much of a problem. That champ has insane. Yeah, uh, that, that, that's true. That is true. Yeah, Speaker's really far behind. Um, even though he has some of the kills, uh, it, I, again, I mean, it's, it's it's definitely very hard to play. Um, this game is Nidalee. You have, like, very little gank potency down in bottom unless Double Lift lands a snare, which he did uh, that one time. Um, he, he's very fortunate that he has two of the kills, but Genji are in such a commanding spot right now. Uh, what should you build on uh, Seth this game? So... This, I mean, th th this is a this is a, a weird game for set. Uh, I think like his itemization path's kind of weird. I think eventually, yes, you just stack armor and then you get Lock of the Iron Solari, and like redemption and stuff. Uh, I think that that's definitely the, the way that you go if you're gonna go tank set. Yeah, Bjergsen Bjergsen's falling very far behind. The Zillion pick is very off theme with all of the uh, teammates and like what they're trying to do outside of like the Senna, like. Zillion Rakan is a pairing, Zillion Senna is a pairing. You can argue that like Zillion Senna Rakan is a pairing, but Rakan is not a pairing into the enemy team. Zillion Rakan's functionality is not really uh practical against the enemy team. Um, you know, the Renekton is just like very out of place. Uh like everyone's trying to achieve different things, you know. How does Genji have a 3000 gold lead right now? Um a lot of that is inside of Set's CS differential. Um I imagine that some of it is inside of Karma. And then uh, they also have the first turret of the game, and they have so many plates. They have, uh, what do they have? They have eight, nine, they have nine plates in total. Um, oh, yeah, and ruler, and ruler completed call. Yeah, and ruler, and, and ruler completed call. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, you win some, you lose some, you know. Most of gold difference is Ezreal and Set. Ooh, take a look at that, Dominus. Oh. Wait. Boom. Boom. Oh! <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> that ain't Falco. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Oh, that was, that was sick. That was sick. That was sick. <laughs> okay. This is really sick. All right. So they end up getting the, the bot turret, and this is really big, but Ruler's going to get the, the solo gold and proximity and stuff on the top turret, and Ezreal is going to be a very big problem for them in the later stages of the game. Um, so Renekton's going to be going for the, the fucking Black Cleaver shit again, because uh, he, he probably never thinks about going Trinity Force. Very sad. Uh, another turret taken by Lilia. And so that's going to be very nice. Two and a half thousand gold lead right now for Generation Gaming. Oh, look at the Build-A-Bear on uh, set. Look at the Build-A-Bear on set. 
Ezreal, yeah, Ezreal is very, very big, and Ezreal also has to sell his calls still, which is a stat that doesn't get included. Look, 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 look at Bjerg, he flashes for the Resurrect. Holy shit, dude. That's like that scene in Constantine where the devil, the devil pulls the guy uh, back down and tells him that he won't die. Spoilers, but whatever, it's like a 15-year-old movie, so F you, if you haven't seen it yet. Um, so yeah, anyways. The game is definitely kind of awkward. This is probably the closest that Gen G will or Gen G and TSM will be in terms of items um, for the next couple of minutes. So I think this is probably an, an okay time for for TSM to actually look for a fight because like Ezreal stunted, he's going Triforce. Um, I really I really don't like Ezreal going Triforce. I think like this is a this is a very good uh, Leandre's game. Um, this is a very good Leandre's game for him because of how him and Lilia and Karma are gonna, uh, play the, the, you know, the, the pre-fights. Lots of poke. Lots of poke and counter poke. Um, even though there's a Senna and she, like, tries to heal and everything like that, you're just, you're throwing out so many different things and whatnot, so. No, I don't want him to go Leandre second. I want him to go, uh, uh, Frozen Fist, uh, Miramana. Uh, Fro Frozen Fist, Miramana, uh, and then, then Leandre's, because I don't think the Death Stance is that important, because you have Karma, who's healing you with Athene's. Nidalee, Athene second with Conqueror and a no damage comp? Yeah, I mean, Conqueror is a really bad item here, for sure. Conqueror, yeah, Conqueror is just not good. Now, Spica does itemize correctly, though. Um, he doesn't go Rod of Aneurysms, like we, we originally saw birthed in the LCK. Um... LCK, LCK has been, like, the birthplace of a lot of bad builds, uh, for sure, um, because, uh, Korean players don't, like, do a whole lot of research and stuff, um, the only reason that Showmaker, uh, Showmaker's the reason for Leandre's in the LCK, um, because his match history had, like, no Morellos, but then Showmaker watches Europe, and Showmaker got Leandre's from Europe, um, and then a lot of people started building Leandre's. So it's kind of weird, you know? So eventually, you know, we were able to fucking start getting Leandre sales in LCK, but uh, aside aside from that, um, you know, not a whole lot going on. Provides more tankiness. Yeah. Argument was he needed it sooner. That doesn't make... I should go to Trinity Force. Okay. So all right, uh, we got a little bit of a, a little bit of a fight going on here, and uh, TSM are getting corralled. The problem in these fights is definitely just going to be Ezreal. Uh, Clid did lose all of his HP. He is recalling right now. Um, so this will this will definitely be a very interesting situation. Ooh, Rascal manages to pin the Scuttle Crab. That's actually really big for this standoff. Ooh, Rula had to fucking flash away. Broken Blade almost got on top of him. He had the Zillion. And Zillion is, is really fucking Gandalf uh, in, in, in this situation. So this is going to be interesting. Ooh, life taking a lot of damage. He's very low. Clid. Oh, sleep. Oh, ruler. Oh, double lift. No, Lilia. It's over. It's over. The game's over. Game's over. Game's probably over. I don't, I don't think they can uh, they can do this. But yeah, Spirit Visage would be a lot better than Adaptive Helm because uh, of Athene's and set passive and you're going to eventually get a stance. I don't know what Bio's doing. He's trolling out of his mind. Uh, it's over. It's over, guys. It's over. It's it's over. Yeah. Oof! Ruler. Ooh. Good night. I hope they emote them. Yeah, GG. Generation Gaming, I think, is one of the teams that definitely can win worlds. Um, I think, uh, like, my my expectation is Dom Juan, TES... This is not in order, by the way. Dom Juan, TES, Genji, JDG. Probably, yeah. I think GG, G2, G2, I think, is the, the Western team that can make the run if they're going to do it, but yeah. All right, well, Generation Gaming. The only reason that this game looked close is because Rascal uh, Rascal 
had a lot of very close encounters. It's the only reason this game looked close. BDD lane kingdomed Bjergsen. Rascal was annihilating Broken Blade in top lane, even though there was like that death on the first gank. Fucking Clid was annihilating Spica in the jungle, but I don't think it's Spica's fault. Uh, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna write some takeaways on Twitter really quick, guys. Some takeaways uh, from the TSM generation gaming. Uh, wonder that there were seven people on stage.